In this Math Excel exercise, you're asked to graph the equation and identify the y-intercept. The equation is y equals 1 quarter x. We know that this is a linear equation because there are no exponents on the x and the y. To graph a linear equation, which has the graph of a line, we only need two points. We're going to just make an x-y chart to find those points, since the instructions didn't tell us to graph any two particular points. We can pick any x and y coordinates that we want. We start by deciding which x coordinates we're going to use, and then we plug those values into the equation to find y. Since the equation is y equals 1 quarter x, we want to find x values that are divided easily by 4 because multiplying by 1 fourth is the same as dividing by 4. 0 is a good number to pick because multiplying 1 quarter times 0 is done easily. 0 times 1 quarter is 0. Four is also a good number to pick because one quarter of four is the same as four divided by four, which is one. This tells us that two of the many coordinates on this line are zero, zero, and four, one. Let's plot those points using the Math Excel graphing tool. To use the Math Excel graphing tool, click on the little magnifying glass in the upper right corner. This gives us a larger picture of the graph along with the tools that we need. You'll see on the right side we have different shapes to choose from. We're going to choose the line tool. To plot points, we can scroll around the graph and see the different x and y coordinates highlighted. They appear in the upper right hand corner. For example, right at this moment, the coordinates 3, 5 are showing in the upper right hand corner. I want the coordinates 0, 0, which is right here, and 4, 1. Now notice that 1 is only part way up to the first tick mark because this scale is given in twos. So 4, 1 is here. Now let's say that I missed the point. You can also drag the point around by clicking on it and dragging it around to correct your error. Now I have the line I want so I click save and now I'm going to check my answer and looks like we got it right. So the next part of the question is to type the coordinates of the y-intercept. Now we actually found the y-intercept because one of the x-coordinates we used was zero and that's how you find a y-intercept. You plug in zero for x and solve for y. The result was zero, zero. And that concludes this exercise.